Hey guys, this is going to be part two of the Black Rat production vlog. As soon as we got back from Wagga, we started shooting our reenactment scenes in Laverton. Action! We shot for two days, and Griffin and I got to record a lot of good folly in the open environment with a lot of rocks and trees. Today I'm going to be meeting with our wonderful director Tiana to discuss with her all the audio needs she requires for the film. So let's get to the studio. So we are here doing the spotting session. So let's just watch scene by scene. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what I was thinking was <coughs> start the actual docker with the desert sound. Yeah. So we'll just be like, shh, going on. Yeah. Like similar to how that noise just comes in. Yeah. Well, I actually automatically liked that natural noise that was already there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Cool. No, yeah. I agree. For this running part. Yeah. What kind of mood are they in? Do you want this to sound as if they're approaching like the warfare right now? Yeah, well, I was thinking like with this sound, I kind of don't want too much sound coming in before the title. So I, I kind of maybe yeah, like yeah. breathe, I'd rather like breathing heavily, running. Um, and I like the fact that you don't really know what's going to happen, why they're running, but I like just the breathing where it's leading up to the story and to yeah, the yeah. boom, yeah, the yeah. title. Okay, cool. Because yeah. I think I wrote that as well. So it's like not to go too full on, so yeah. just have the breathing stuff. Because yeah. I feel like if there's too much going on here, the impact of that drum hit won't be yeah. as big. No. And I was thinking because the hit kind of tails really quick. Yeah. I was thinking like it will hit and then like a gush of wind just like like the desert sound. Yeah. 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 I don't want the, the wind to hit the same time but like come in like around there. Yeah. And like it fills up this space. Yeah. Then that sound becomes the this atmos. Right now. Yeah. And like it, it becomes like the background atmos for all this stuff. Yeah. Tell me how long it's my dad. So you can still hear the, like, the desert stuff now? Yeah. Two. Cool. cool. Okay. That's good then. So it's kind of like bringing the story in from the title into the next sequence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The sound. Yeah. yeah. This is probably going to be the most heaviest for sound wise. Yeah. But I picture it just be, yeah, I, I don't think we would really want to have like the biggest wall going on right now because if that was the case, there wouldn't just be three of them. Yeah. To yeah, try to yeah. make them more realistic, I think we would be just going with on um, the guns. Maybe you can hear a bit of yelling. Okay. Yeah. So it's not the biggest like uh, warfare going on right now. No. They're just kind of like a group of soldiers that's going on themselves. Yeah. And maybe like just are facing like a, a small another smaller group of yeah. other soldiers. Yeah. Because yeah. I feel like it would be more realistic that way. So if if you want it that way, then you don't want big sounds like planes. Yeah. Uh, you can still have planes because I feel like, you know, if it wasn't like they'd still be around, but it wouldn't be like the main sound. So you'd hear it faintly as if it is in a distance. Yeah, yeah. Because I just feel if you had this massive war break out here and I was in a tank, I would just ride over three people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, so you don't want any sound that's like really close. You want everything that's like yeah. really far away. Yeah. I feel like that makes sense as well. Yeah. Especially if it inside a trench, like all the above sounds, like far away, are going to be pretty muffled. Yeah. Yeah. But I do want it to sound the most heaviest. Through yeah. The yeah. Of, through the whole reenactment. Yeah. You get feel different. It'll die down here. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And then yeah. And then yeah. So. This is where she's talking about the metals. Yeah. Alright, so there's like the metals metals here. And she's talking a bit about the current world. Yeah. And then she gets personal here. Yeah. I feel like for now, yeah. I shouldn't think too much about like where to place the music. Yeah. I feel like we'll just make the music with those themes. Yeah, yeah. So are you happy with like personal, yeah, current world metals? Yeah. 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 I'm <laughs> sorry.